Good afternoon. My name is Jason. I work here at Jengris Subaru in Torrington. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness. Now, one of the first things you'll notice, there's all this extra plastic cladding around the bumper. It comes up a little higher than normal. You also have some extra around the wheel wells. That way, if you do go off-road, you're out in the woods, you don't have to worry so much about scratches and whatnot because it's going to protect you. Nice 17-inch rims on it. Yokohama Geolanders. Good tires, all seasons. Help you out in snow and mud, regular driving. Come back here. You got a power rear lift gate. Nice little Subaru Wilderness badge there. One of the nice things, you got a little lever here, releases the seats. Of course, that one's hung up, so it's not gonna drop down. But you pull this little lever, seats will flop right down for you. You also have this handy cargo tray, rubberized mat, so if you do any ice fishing or anything outdoorsy, once you put all your stuff back in the back here, you're not ruining your carpet with stains and water damage. You got some tie downs, hold your stuff in place so it's not rolling all over. The... You got your standard privacy shield. Pull it back, it goes in these grooves here. You can get your little privacy if you got some stuff that you don't want everybody seeing. Another cool thing, you got these rubber mats on the inside of your wheel wells. That way your interior is not getting all scuffed up and scraped up with all the stuff that you're putting in the back constantly. You also have a little spot for a 12 volt power supply. So if you're doing any camping or anything like that, if you're sitting in the back here, you got a power supply so you can charge your phone, run a radio, TV, little things like that. These also come with an upgraded Harman Kardon stereo system. So you get a little better sound than just a stock system. A little more bass into it, a little richer, fuller sound. Up here, hit this button. Not only will it close your trunk lid, but it'll lock all of your doors. So if you're coming home from the grocery mart, got a bunch of bags in your hands, don't want to fumble around for your keys, you can just reach up, hit this button. It'll close the trunk lid for you, lock all your doors, including the trunk. That way you know it's secure. The other button will just close the trunk. Now on the top here, we have a utility basket. Nice little thing, especially if you're doing any sort of camping or stuff like that. You got plenty of room to fit a whole bunch of stuff in this basket. You can hold up to 750 pounds on the top of these things. They actually make a tent that goes on the top as well. So that way you don't have to bring another tent and you're up off the ground so you're not sleeping on the coldness. Inside, you got what they call StarTech seats. It's almost like a leather. It's more of a recycled plastic and other means, more of a natural thing. Uh, you also have Subaru Wilderness embossed into the back of the headrest. Nice little touch, makes it look pretty sharp. Down on the floor, the floor mats. You also have the Subaru Wilderness badge. You also notice there's little anodized copper accents, the shifter, the X mode wheel on the bottom of the steering wheel spoke and also up here on your racks. Gives it just a nice little difference. Come back around the front here. You have really nice, powerful LED fog lights. So these will illuminate a little more than your conventional bulbs. Give you a better view of the road at night. Another cool thing about this, this little thing right here is a front view, front facing camera. So if you're going any off-roading, you're going along, you can't really see what's in front of you because you're coming up over the top of a hill or something like that, or you're just in a really tight place. So with this button here, you can press this and it'll bring the front view camera up right up in this little display here. So that way, like I say, you can see a little better stuff that's lower down underneath your field of view where the hood is. Got a pretty standard radio setup, nice little screen on there. Your HVAC controls, pretty standard, simple to use. I actually prefer the dials because it's a little easier to do when you're driving down the road. You know that this one controls your temperature, this one controls your fan, this one controls the temperature for the other side. It makes it a lot easier. Some of the other ones are touchscreen, so it makes it kind of difficult. You have to 
take your eyes off the road to adjust your heat or if you're getting hot turn on your cold so like i was saying you got your nice copper accents on the bottom of the steering wheel your standard phone and radio controls cruise control si drive you got a nice little gauge cluster You also have dual X mode in these. So the cool thing about dual X mode is if you do find yourself in a sticky situation, you're not gonna get stuck too, too often in a Subaru, one of the nice things. But if you do find yourself that you're going off road and there's untouched roads, a lot of snow, this is gonna be your best friend. Allows for a little more wheel slip, but it gives you better traction trying to get out of a sticky situation. Another nice thing, auto vehicle hold. So once you, once you start up your car and you're driving along, the car gets the temperature, you go to pull out of some place, come up to a stop sign or a stoplight. Once you have the car fully stopped, you can actually take your foot off of the brake and the car will stay right where it is until you hit the gas pedal. Then it'll start going again. Oh. You also have the nice star tech on the inside of the doors. So, you know, like I say, it's a little better than cloth or the regular leather it's a little easier to clean a little more health uh yeah health environmentally conscious uh so yeah that about does it subaru wilderness off-road rated there's actually quite a few videos on youtube comparing this to the toyota 4runner the new ford bronco and even a jeep cherokee which when you think off-road you kind of think jeep but this thing held its own, even though it's a Subaru and it's not technically an off-road vehicle, but it's got plenty of capability. You also have a little more ground clearance than your standard Forester, about an inch and a half more. You also have a better break over approach and departure angle because it's a little bit taller and the way they did everything out. So if you're doing a lot of off-roading, anything like that, makes it a little easier you also have skid plates on the front in the middle and the back covering some of the vital things so that way you don't have to worry about damaging the underside of your car and ruining a whole bunch of stuff just because you wanted to go off road get to your certain special fishing spot ah, but other than that once again my name's jason here at jenga subaru in torrington come check out a forester wilderness today